What's up, YouTube? This is Cooking with Doug. I'm back again with my Cook's Essentials air fryer lid. Check out my 10-inch skillet I've got on Amazon that this lid fits perfect with. And I'll leave a link in the description, of course. I used it once already, and it's, it's perfect. Today, we're going to make some easy chicken parmesan pasta skillet. It's just too easy, guys. I got my Copper Chef induction cooktop in the house, y'all. All right, let's get started. Got some avocado oil. I'm just gonna hit it on the bottom, just, just because. With my Evo oil spray, link will be in the description. Now, I'm using pre-cooked chicken from Aldi, but if you're not using pre-cooked chicken, that's fine. At this point, you would throw some oil in there, maybe some onions and do like cut up three br chicken breasts into cubes and cook them, I don't know, from five to seven minutes till they cook. I said this is gonna be easy, so I don't have to do that. You need about a pound of uh, chicken. So yeah, that should be good enough. Now because mine are strips guys, I'll just take it and just kind of break them in half. You don't have to be all uniform with it, although uniform would be great. But I'm just showing you how easy it is guys. This was in my deep freezer, took it out, let it uh, defrost and we're making an easy meal with it. Now I'm going to add my sauce. This is what I had in my pantry guys. But any marinara sauce that you like, be, you know, feel free to use that. And what I'm doing, um, all the measurements, I'll leave in the description so you could follow along. But this is, like I said, this is just too easy. And you know what? This is optional just to make sure we got flavor. I got some Italian seasoning. I'm just going to unload. Shout out to everybody with their good grips measuring cups. This is a four cup measuring cup. I'll leave a link in the description. I don't have chicken broth, but I got better than bouillon chicken. Let's get that three cups in there. And guys, you definitely are going to need three cups. Don't, don't cheat. Cause we gotta cook the uh you know we gotta cook the pasta so how many pounds is 16 ounces my brain is acting 16 weird. ounces is one pound okay good so that's the whole box right. and we're gonna push these down guys as best as we can and cover all right, I'm gonna turn my induction on. I'm gonna put it on sear the highest uh, temperature for now. I'm gonna, I want it to come to a boil and then I'm gonna bring it down and let it simmer for about 15 minutes and we'll, we'll be good to go. All right, I'm gonna turn on my Copper Chef induction cooktop now. I'm gonna put it on the highest level, which on mine is sear. Um, and so what I wanna do is I wanna get it to a boil and then bring it down to a simmer, cover it, and let it cook for 15 minutes. And then um, add some cheeses, and then we're going to uh, put on the crisper lid, crisp that up, and we're good to go. So, I'll be back when it's, when it's boiling. While it's getting there, I'm just going to continue to push down some of these, some of the pasta. best I can. This already smells like it needs some garlic bread. 
All right, so it's, it's at the boiling point, so I'm going to drop down the temp, I think to about 200, I guess. Let's see. I'm gonna cover it. And of course, this skillet doesn't come with a cover, but I'm sure you have a cover somewhere in your house that fits, I'm pretty sure. Shout out to Ninja one time. I got my Ninja cover on there one time. That's the first cover I found. But I have several covers that would fit this good. Set timer for 15 minutes. 15 minutes. Starting now. Alright. 15 minutes is up. Let's turn this off. Let's take a look. Alright. Let's give it a minute. Mix around, get the chicken from the bottom. Oh, yeah, it's a full house in here. Cooked it perfect. Perfect. Now this is extra, you do not have to do this, but I want every bite to be as cheesy as possible. So I'm going to put some Parmesan cheese, I'm going to mix that in with some mozzarella cheese. Alright, we're almost ready to add the layer of cheese on the top. It's ooey and gooey, it smells so fantastic. Guys, you gotta try this. So I'm just gonna mash it down. Cause we're kinda we're loaded in this this pot. <laughs> the lid will need some clearance. So this will be good. This is like a good distance. Man, it smells good. Alright. Got some Parmesan cheese out. I'm just gonna just sprinkle it on nice and good. I think that's enough. Spread it out. Yeah, that's good enough. I right, put my induction cooktop away. We don't need it any longer. I'm gonna put this rack down just for safety. Not completely necessary because we're gonna air crisp this for about. Uh, about three minutes three four minutes five tops now if you're air crisping for you know seven minutes or over I definitely recommend you use some type of rack on the bottom because the bottom of the pot or pan will start to get warm to hot at that point but three four minutes not no I don't think so and just to be sexy guys I'm gonna add some parsley to the top Wish I had some fresh ones. I forgot to pick up some, but this will do. All right, let's get this on here. All right, make sure it's on good. Okay. I'm going to turn it on. And I am going to drop it. No. No. I'm going to leave it at 450. I'm going to do, where's the time here? I'm going to do uh, four minutes. I'll check it at three. So guys, think of this um, crisper lid right now as your broiler or your oven. You know, you just put it in there to finish it off. Well, we don't have to do that anymore. We could just grab this from under the cabinet and finish it off right there on the counter or on your or stove top. Yeah, I'm about to pull it. We got two minutes left. I'm going to pull it at one.
And yes, guys, my Cooking with Doug channel did get partially hacked. I was able to change my password. So, um, you know, they wasn't doing any funny business on the account. Well, they didn't, maybe they didn't want to or they didn't get a chance to. I don't know. But YouTube has their protocol. So, of course, they, um, they partially shut down my account just for security so no one can post any craziness or start deleting a bunch of videos and all that stuff because that that happened in the past people hack your account and then delete your account and that 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 would be hurtful <laughs> i i would i would literally cry um so at least it's partially shut down so you can still see videos on cooking with doug i think like um early 2020 and back so like i don't know i i, I didn't measure exactly what date it started from but I think like from May to now all those videos you can't see but that's fine that's fine I have a thousand over a thousand videos so that's still a bunch of videos that you could still see so I'm thankful for that but I spoke to they emailed me and everything is looking good um, I resecured my account so they have like a protocol where they um, you know they deactivate your account so there's certain things that they have to do to get that reinstated so that's going to take a couple of days so i'm thinking about a week to two weeks i should be back um going but no worries guys i'll be doing videos on this channel anyway so we it don't stop <laughs> anyway Shout out to my viewers and subscribers that hit the like button way before my video is even finished. I appreciate that. You saw the paper towel go up, so you know it's time to eat. You guys first. You got it? Perfect when it's chill. Alright, we're going right in. We're not going to waste any time. I got a little salad with mine. Let's go ahead and... A little piece of salad's on there. That's okay. You first. You got it? Mmm. That's good. That is restaurant quality right there. Get some of this cheese on there for you guys. Nice and cheesy. You got it? Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That was a big bite right there. It's just too good, guys. So easy. So easy. Have some garlic bread. I had to make some garlic bread with this, man. You got it? Mm. Mm hmm. Shout out to my low carbers out there. Some of y'all. Still have a bite of the the pasta, just don't have a a forkful like I did, like a half of a fork. But definitely, you have some of this too. Have some blue cheese on it. Mm. Mm hmm. Perfect combo. Well, guys, that was fun. Another. QVC Cooks Essentials Air Fryer Lid video. And um, I think I do have a playlist for this. I'll put a I'll put I'll pin it in the comments. I do have a uh, crisper lid playlist actually, so you can check out all my I don't I don't think I have too many. I think this might be the third or fourth one, but I'll put the playlist in there so you guys can check it out. And I will put a link in the description, like I said, to the um, the skillet that I have. It's awesome. I think it was like 20 something bucks. But it, it fits this crisp. If you have this crisp lid, it fits it perfect. 
Now I did have, I do have a large 10.25 and that was just a little too big for this lid. And then it has little nudges on the side where air I think, believe can escape on the side of that um, pot as well. So I didn't like that. So that's why I got this anyway. So this is 10 inches and, but anyway, you'll see it in the description. So definitely check that out. But if you have this crisper lid or any type of air fryer, Consider joining my air fryer group on Facebook. It's called Air Frying with Doug. We have over 65,000 members in there. And we love to see what you're air frying. So come in there, show, off, show us what you like to make, what you love to make in your air fryer. Or do a search and then get recipes. Also, if you have an Instagram or TikTok, look me up on those platforms, Cooking with Doug. But that's all I got. Hit like if you like it. Remember to subscribe. If anything, thanks for the... Thanks for even just looking at my video. <laughs> it's cooking with Doug and Douglas M. <laughs>